Well, three out of four Americans personally know someone who has been or is a victim of domestic violence. Reporter Tammy Scardino spoke with a local survivor who urges anyone in an abusive relationship to seek help. Brenda Wan is successful at her job and able to support her household and children who are still living at home. She's in a spot now similar to where she was about 10 years ago before she met her ex-husband. Brenda met him at church in a whirlwind of a courtship, but after getting married and having two more children, things changed. She says he got violent when he was drinking and was physically abusive toward her and some of her children on top of verbal threats and insults. After finding out about the resources available through the Women's and Children's Alliance, she left for good. They missed their dad. They didn't necessarily understand everything. My older kids were afraid of him. They were terrified. Experts say children react differently to such situations, but that early intervention, especially when trauma is involved, can be powerful. Some of the counselors at the WCA use child-centered play therapy to gain insight. It's amazing to see the ways that they really use their play to communicate what's happening in their lives and in their worlds without a whole lot of direction. So I kind of just reflect back to them what I'm seeing and you'll have these moments where kids will look at you like, oh, somebody's listening to me and somebody knows what's going on. Finances saved up or not, Brenda urges anyone in an abusive relationship to consider reaching out to the WCA to create an exit plan. It will just keep going. It's a never ending cycle and it will go to your children and their children and so on. It's not going to change unless you stop it. Tammy Scardino, six on your side. Now the WCA operates a 24-hour crisis hotline dedicated to domestic violence. If you need help, you can call that number and find more resources at sixonyourside.com.